So welcome to this week's Optimum Health Clinic Facebook Live. And uh, firstly, thank you for the comments and the feedback on last week's Ask Me Anything. The current plan is to do a part two to that next week. Uh, so do keep, um, I think there's a thread, maybe someone can post the thread uh, that's in the Facebook page and in our Facebook group where there's questions that people are posting. So feel free to add more questions on there and obviously happy to, to get into those. So for this week's video, um, I wanted to ask a question which um, was, was sent in um, separately as part of this that I actually thought would be good as a kind of its own uh, kind of session, which is why work with a practitioner? I think particularly given there are people such as myself who on the recovery path kind of at least have given the impression of having figured it out on their own by trying lots of different things. And so why spend the money and I guess invest uh, the time and the energy in going to, to work with someone? Well, I should say that <laughs> although I think there's an impression that I figured it out on my own, I actually, I think I worked with over 30 different practitioners in the time that, um, that I was ill. I think I ended up reading about 500 different books, most of those obviously not on ME chronic fatigue, there wasn't much that was out there at that time, but books on nutrition, on psychology, on healing. I think at one point I was taking 60 supplements a day. I probably had the most expensive poo in South Wales where I was at university at the time. But I tried an enormous amount of different things. And I know that a lot of people that we work with at Optimum Health Clinic have similarly been on a path of trial and error and trying to figure out their own kind of path to recovery. And I think that's deeply admirable. And it's something that, you know, ultimately we very much encourage of, you know, I thought I've done videos of this idea of being captain of the ship of your own recovery process. But the real value of working with a, a practitioner which is super experienced is of course that they know the map and i think particularly with optimum health clinic that we've spent an enormous amount of time piecing together the different pieces of the jigsaw to try and figure out when we're working with someone kind of you know right up front where do they fit on this map like what are the key pieces of the jigsaw to make sense of why they are where they are. So that's really, I think, one of the first major benefits of working with a practitioner, that they can have the clarity, having not just, you know, not just you looking through the lens of, of your recovery path, but them having looked through, hopefully the lens of many, many people on the healing path, to be able to figure out what are the most likely factors in causing why someone is unwell, what are some of the blocks to recovery and what are the things that are going to progress and move things forwards? And then, of course, once we're on that path, when we hit kind of bumps in the road or things kind of take twists and turns, hopefully to try and predict some of that, but also when it does happen, to be able to make sense of it. So there's a kind of depth of experience that comes from working with large numbers of, um, of patients. I think... You know, Optimum Health Clinic now has been going for, um, I think this is our 16th uh, year. And we've worked with literally thousands of patients in that time. I think at any one time, we must have, at my, my last calculation, around 1,000 patients that we're working with in, I guess, you know, I think we've worked people in about 40 countries. So there's a, there's a kind of just, you'd almost have to be in, you could be an idiot. <laughs> Maybe I'm an idiot. You could be an idiot and and spot some patterns and see some kind of paths that people go down that have consistent outcomes more often than not. Not all the time, everyone's of course unique in their experience. So again, there's, 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 there's kind of knowing a map and then there's that experience of helping people navigate along that path and being able to put together the right pieces in the right way at the right time. And one of the things that's interesting for me these days is you know looking back on some of the ways that the protocols at the optimum health clinic have evolved and of course they've evolved where we've had patients that have not gone 
to the path that we were expecting. And, you know, rather than making that their fault, which is obviously incredibly um, inaccurate and unhelpful, to really try and understand, like, what, what's different? Why is this not working? And that's the kind of constant evolution and the constant updating. And, the, and in a sense, I can look back at things we were doing 15 years ago and just think, oh my God, I can't believe we were doing it that way. We were doing the best we could with the best understanding that, w- that was around. But there's a constant growing and evolution and ch- or should be evolution and growing that, that comes with that. So it's that experience in terms of putting things together. The next thing is um, seeing things, particularly from a psychology point of view, uh, you know, from a nutrition point of view, often it's just the, partly it's just the depth of the biochemical knowledge and understanding that's incredibly difficult to, to gather um, on one's own. On the psychology side, I think sometimes people can, um, can understand the principles perhaps a bit more quickly, but it's partly it's the application of that, but it's also seeing the things that we can't see on our own like the things that are kind of in our shadow you know it's almost like when we drive a car there's a there's blind spots and we have to learn to check those those blind spots the same is often true psychologically that we can understand the map we might even understand how to apply the map we might be able to see for other people like the stuff that's going on it's often quite difficult to do that for ourselves to really be able to see our own shadow, our own kind of things that either we can't see because they're hard to see or we can't see because they're uncomfortable or inconvenient to see. It's like, if I see that, I'm going to have to deal with that and I don't want to deal with that. So it's better not to see this in the first place. Or it can be that if we, if we see these things that we might be, we're going to have to start to deal with some emotions that are quite, quite challenging to deal with on our own which is kind of one of the next points, particularly um, on the psychology side, that the value of working with a skilled practitioner is having that holding and that support. So if we're working with, you know, difficult life experiences that we're trying to digest and process, or we've been in an anxiety pattern for a long time, and actually we've got so used to being there that although it feels horrible, it actually feels like a safe place and calming down can be quite challenging and, and quite um, difficult. Having that holding and support of working with a, with a skilled practitioner that gives us that support to be able to really feel those things, to see, all those, to see those things and to, to process and digest those things, which otherwise might be difficult to do, particularly with really deep emotional work. Sometimes actually it's important to be in, in the room. If we can't be in the room physically, having something like video Skype is a way of creating a sense of support uh, which can be really important. On the nutrition side, you know, it's, it's so, someone might understand the bodily system that needs work. They might even have got a protocol on, online somewhere, but it's interpreting test results. And it's also being able to figure out dosage, dosages um, and what combinations of what to use where, what sequence to put things in place. And I don't, I'm not saying all this as a kind of, um, everyone should be working with Optimum Health Clinic. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm biased somewhat that I, I know that we, I believe that we have some of the very best practitioners out there. And I think one of the best maps and models that are out there, but there's other, other obviously approaches as well. And so it's, it is this, the intent of this video is less everyone has to come to optimal health clinic and more people should be working with skilled experts where they can, because that will ultimately, it should fast track the process and it should often reduce the cost of the process because the cost of being ill is, is massive in terms of people not being able to work and, and whatever else. Um, and the cost of taking supplements we don't need to be taking can also be significant. If we can't work with a practitioner, how do we take what I've just been covering in this video and, and how do we um, take some of those principles for ourselves? So firstly, what I would say is get the best map that you can and understand that a good map is going to integrate a lot of facets and a lot of ingredients. Um, be diligent in the, the following and the using of that map. That if there are bits of the map that you, you don't like or that feel confusing or feel um, uh, you feel reactive towards, a practitioner will help you navigate that. Try and be, by being compassionate, but also being firm with yourself, make sure you're not missing important pieces. Um, look for the things which are um, difficult to see and getting get outside feedback on that 
see if you can see yourself through the eyes of other people and not with the judgments and stuff that you project to other people, but try and see yourself in a kind of um, uh, non-polluted, clean kind of uh, way and recognize the importance of, of holding and support. And there are lots of ways that we can, we can actively work to support ourselves um, by being around people that feel supportive, by uh, being in locations and places that feel um, supportive. So yeah, these are just some of the, there's a lot that I can say on this topic, but these are just some of the kind of key ingredients that I notice working as a practitioner seem to be what makes that process so effective. And if someone doesn't have that opportunity, what are some of the pieces um, that you could, um, uh, that you could kind of try and put in place for yourself to be your own best practitioner? Because ultimately, even if you are working with a practitioner, you need to be your own, the captain of the ship of your own recovery. Then the more that you can, you can use these principles, the better. So I hope that's been useful. Um, also, I should say, I think it's going to get mentioned in the newsletter. Uh, for the first time in a couple of years, um, I have a few, uh, a few slots, which is part of why I was thinking about um, uh, the content of the video. Um, I have a few slots for new patients. Um, every few years I get um, a kind of people that I've been working with that either recovered or my diary kind of gets, gets more space in it. And there's not much, but there's a bit of availability. Um, so feel free to um, contact at the office um, to uh, see if you want to work with me. And as I'm sure people are aware, there is an incredible team of practitioners at Optum Health Clinic that have an enormous amount of experience working with patients. So um, if we can help or support you in any way, uh, then please do um, reach out. Um, I'm trying to look to see <laughs> where the comments are. I'm doing these videos in a new way and it's tricky to uh, see the comments at the same time as do it uh, on my laptop. Uh, so uh, I'm either going to succeed quickly or I'm going to not. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of comments here. Um, so Pamela's saying, I'm trying to be my best practitioner and listen to my 15 minutes free Get a Nutritionist. Uh, I think that's 50, so yeah, we offer free 15 minute chats to prospective patients. This is a way to talk to um, one of the practitioner team to see how effective our approach may or may not be to support you. Um, and um, yeah, there's a specific question around supplements and comments here, but that's probably not so appropriate um, for me to get into details. Um, but yeah, I hope that's been useful and share your experiences, your comments underneath the video. And we'll have another of the um, Ask Me Anythings uh, next week or the week after. And I hope that has been useful. Bye-bye for now.